Okay. So now I'm trying to decide uh, between screwing around here longer or like going to the white march and punching dudes in the face. And I'm kind of leaning towards the white march because I really want to punch dudes in the face. Of course. And we need to get through White March Part 1 to get to, you know, White March Part 2. Hmm. Look at these dickwads. Alright. Uh, but uh, at least I got over here to Elm Shore or whatever the hell. Uh, where are we? Heart song. I mean, you know, I mean, it, there's also the other options, just like exploring the dungeons of Cade Nua. Uh, I don't know. So, stalwart. Stalwart. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what that is. It's the Temple of Andra. Money, huh? Fishery. Grass, grass, which is there in the hot springs. Thrisk's house. That's the. Dragon's battery. Um, yeah, okay, let's take a look. So, the Ogre Matron. The Ice Caves. Okay. Okay. Durgon's battery. Okay. All hey. right. Let's go take a look. It's a double time though. Oh, what the hell? Um, yeah, I'm still not gonna let that asshole go. Okay. It's like you know, don't. Fat cat laying next to me. What's up, lady? All right. Oh, right. Durgan's battery is the thing we're kind of here for. So, ancient device or something like that, maybe. I haven't been over here before. I've I've never you know messed with the light march, so this is all new to me, folks. Uh, um, Lingerberries, Lingerberry. Mm. My, fav my favorite pancake and uh, our panicle can. Whoa, Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna attack him. Brave oh, okay. Screw you. They both. Just kick the hell out of my wizard. I'm gonna stab a sag to death. I didn't really expect shit to get real. I just come over here. I have one of them possessed. No, I don't. Uh, hey. Uh, my lizard got his ass kicked by a fancy deer. Right. Hey. What the hell was going on over here? <laughs> it was like a deer convention. I uh, fucked their shit up. Okay. Hey. How does that even happen? I don't want just my main character selected. 
Shit birds. The gods must be crazy. Alright, 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 alright. Don't get that far away. Yes? Um. Lava room beyond seek. That's it. Sucker blue. Sucker blue. That's it, right? Brave thou philosophy. Okay. Of course. Nobody wants to talk with Jay. No, nope. no conversations pending. The stench. Even worse Behind than us. dead. Okay, so somebody help me. Wow, this is probably, probably bad, so. Uh. And Kana, once again, with the stupid asshole sword. Thank you, thank you. That's what we always want to see. My ranged My attack guys go to attack. Jesus. You dumbasses. Alright. To the wheel with that one. That's not what I was going for. You know, let's just do this. <laughs> I'm starting to not feel as good about the old wedge formation anymore either. All right, then. I oh, know. Has that not gone off? What? Oh, he's on the fucking ground. Oh, it's hard. Okay, uh. Keep happening. Okay. Correct weapon set. Correct weapon set. Correct weapon set. Dumbass. Thank you. And yeah, fine. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I'd rather that dipshit be ranged. I, I, he can't be trusted. Otherwise, he's just like. Blah 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 bl
See, there we go. Shoot the gun. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to shoot the gun. You're supposed to shoot the gif. When I shoot the gif, I shoot the kill. I'm the kill. I don't. <coughs> don't blame me if I don't remember him. Third My mind feels strong. <laughs> Always some of the skeletons around himself. case. Let's see what kind of wrestlers a dick Well, at least it's set up better this time. So, uh, I'm gonna rock these assholes with one of those. Hi. My mind feels Jesus, I mean, that was... Fucking insane. I mean, uh, okay. So. 
Jesus. Ah. Okay. I... Oh. down first, it's just, you know, um, internal damage reduction. Well. Winning of hearts and minds, I always say. Alright then. So it's just a little pass through. Huh? No, Alright, that's cool, I guess. Uh... Fat kitty. Got me a fat kitty. Watch out, Floydy. Well, Floyd's a main coon cat, actually, so he's like 23 pounds. He's not really fat, he's just big. Okay, so. Well, that's weird. Cool, whatever. I'll get it open. Yep, yep. <laughs> Finished. What's this? I'll see. I really gotta rest, I guess, huh? Oh my god. Die. Uh. Hi? I think I'm okay. I mean, he'll, he, he'll get knocked out. He's not gonna die until he gets knocked out again. I don't think, at least. Alright, so. The rest of the party is. I mean, I'm not saying we're doing great, but. They're better than the legend. Okay. <laughs> the old camp. Jesus. <laughs> it's firing it up. <sighs> he does this every now and then. Something odd about one of the symbols. A circle of 12 smaller circles on the circle. The smart one of the smarkles. One of the small circles glows brightly, but the other 11 give off a little light. They flicker and fade like dying embers. When he has hissing curses, Durant's laser's face close to the staff and bows in the fading circles of panic rapidity, coaxing light from them, but they do not ignite. One boy in the light of the circles dies, so it rises from the ashes. Only one still burns. 
hurls the staff at his feet, clashes to the ground. The edge has become soft, difficult to find like its owner. The staff has become a blur. Close your eyes and reopen them, and Durance is there, picking up his staff from the ground. But the blur is gone, and you are awake. And I need to talk to him, I guess. Mm. And yeah, nobody's dead. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. You see many things that aren't there, Watcher. <coughs> Perhaps the symbol was for your disappearing sanity, and we are to bid it farewell while you still have the wits to grieve for it. That symbol? The Godhammer. Uh... Then it was the Godhammer symbol I saw. I still understand your sound. <laughs> no riddle there, Watcher. Bloopy. It took twelve of us to build the Godhammer. I touched a ding dong. I took my leave of all of them to see what Margren had in store for me. Um, I've seen none of them since. It was a ding dong. Yeah, I think he's trying to cover up for the fact that he's an asshole. That's my theory. To be fair, I could be wrong on that one. I don't think I am, but I think that guy's an asshole. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind, America. Oh, yeah, that's what I came over here for. So, charge a cable. I need a charger. A fucking charger. And more of that story. Your kind has a way of interpreting its visions to fit the <clears throat> version of the truth you like best. But Margren's flame leaves no room for interpretation. Waste the time of others nugget. with your distortions and your fever dreams. Okay. I'll do that. Hmm. It's always the way of the mad to try to convince others of a reality only they can see. I don't think, uh... When your doctrine's the truth, it requires no convincing, only an opening of the eyes. I would purify you, Watcher, if I thought it would help. See, this guy, he, uh, he doesn't realize it, you know. Put the two of us next to each other, it's, it's not me they're gonna be saying, Oh, there's the mad asshole. Hey. 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 Got some things to look. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> Steady does it. I've got it. Three, huh? All right. Finished. For Christ's sake, I didn't see it. All right. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Keeping quiet. Pity, tippy, tippy. That's all I got to say about that. Sorry, I'll stop quoting Crackhead Bob one of these days. It's dead anyway. Still feel pretty bad for him. Ah, uh, uh. Uh, okay, here. Um, the hell? I didn't hey. actually mean to take that screenshot. I was <clears throat> looking for the backspace. Uh, okay, with with her, eleven to seventeen and eleven to fifteen. That's a twelve to seventeen. It's pretty sweet. Uh. 
Okay, so, but, let me look at, uh... What did we do for you? The Saber, Stiletto, Club, Pistol, and Blunderbuss. We got for tippy tips. <laughs> yeah, I think I will give it to her. And well, well what is this? Damn it, the R reduction draining. No, oh, draining's pretty sweet. Let's. I just want to try it. I mean, you know, see if this works. She might be pretty badass hey. like that. Okay. What the hell? Okay. All right then. Yeah, not a problem there. Finished. Okay. Shit. Stuff on dipshit. Yeah. I am carrying like 14 pets in my pocket, so. You know. Cut me a little slack. Uh, oh, 65 chickens. <laughs> Is this some place like specifically that it? No. Okay, whatever. Uh, I noticed something. Huh? Oh, shit! To her. Shit! So I. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe it's what you have to do to get over. Oh, hey guys. What the? Like that. Why would you control the one that we had just like beat the shit out of? Why would you control that one? You know? What do you want? Okay. Yeah, fuck the life fight. Uh, let's go ahead and kill the. There's other shit. Skeletons, please. I've been poisoned. You're not getting. Leave it. That's not very helpful. That's it! Love! Okay. Okay. All right then. Hi. Following your lead. Hey. Hey. The old ice cave.
I mean, it's a good shortcut. There's nothing out there. This, I'm pretty, uh, this is where I'm going. Only God knows where I've been, you know. Oh, Jesus. Haints. Dealing me a goddamn, dealing me a goddamn vicious spook this time. Ah, fucking vicious, savage. Mm, that's Durgan's Crossing. So if you guys forget where we parked, it's somewhere near Durgan's Crossing. This seems like a lot of guys. Oh, this is a fucking bounty? Okay. Alright. Well, I know it's that kind of party. You know what Lou the Lightning Bug says, right, folks? You gotta play it safe around. All right, then. Electricity. <gasps> oh, that's some good electricity. Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh. Huh? All right. Nice and slow. <laughs> Right. All right. Let's see what kind of horse shit. Brave Dalfila Fili. Okay. See, I like Fireball. Fireball is a good spell. And here's why. Kind of stuck over here. Because that's funny. One piece. And I can do it over and over again. See, I think it's hilarious. Give me. Oh shit. See now I hate that though. Well, that's that's kind of the downside, I guess. Okay. That's rage. Controlled or something. Uh, he's confused. Yeah. Okay. a bummer, you know. Yeah, see, we're just, we have to go back to Rocky Top here again and start over. Not start over, just, I need to reset my idiots. <clears throat> Then. 
see what's over here. Yes? Hey. This guy's like, who the fuck are these people? Hello there! Always good to see more kith on the road. You can relax for the time being. Ingot here will let me know if any ogres come upon us. Ought to be heading down the mountain soon, but I still got supplies if you need anything. Uh, do you know a man by the name of Galvino? I think everyone knows Galvino. He has a cabin a little way north of here. You want to try to follow the roadways, then head into the trees. That's too far north, though. Got bandits crawl the road to the pass. Who are you? Name's Terragar. Came up to Stalwart sometime to trade. Nothing fancy like you and uh, has. Just supplies, ingredients. Emma here to get some air after the raid. Never been much of one for towns. Let me see what you got. Show us what you got. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take all of those. Um, I still, I have not found anything to replace his, like... A superior one too. Okay, whatever. Uh, fine. Fine, Schler. Nah, I'm sure I got a bunch of crap in here now. Oh yeah, where'd that crap go? Alrighty. Hello. Okay, that's good. Hey. See you in hell, old timer. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Strange. Oh, hey. There's old shitbird's cabin, or whatever this place is called, so. Uh, let's get in there. Get our talking to a bunch of people on. Okay. Found something. Ah. Uh, Not stealing. Shit, yeah, I'll take it. Worth a look. Oh, for. Mm. Map depicts the peak of the mountain with markers denoting altitude. Okay. Let's go down to his basement and find him. He's probably got a belt around his neck. And... Well, never mind. <sighs> he is a hermit after all. I don't know what that means, per se, but... This is a big-ass place, mm. and everything in the world so far has been trapped. Right there, right? Worth a look. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, Jesus.
Mister, won't you please help my pony? Sorry. Let's let's let's. <laughs> I agree. Jesus, my record's got a lot of face. What? Yeah, guys, come on. That's it. Leave it. Leave it to me. That's it. Hey. Severe asshole. Nice. Severe. These crates hold innumerable discarded mechanical hinges, face plates, and limbs. Okay. Gelatinous green film is congealed on the bottom of the shattered machine. Okay, that's awesome. Spell it being a dickhead. Alright. Unstable constructs. Don't let them stay unstable for a minute and check this way over here. Yeah, there's more traps. Character. Worth a look. Yep. It's pretty good at disarming traps. skill to disarm it. Favorite chance the loose list of apparent personages, personages separate of dates. Uh, got Ungding, along with Charles Bandit, uh, some smuggler, murderer, nice hair, some idiot who tried to knife me. Just give me that well, okay. Got me a few bony hey. bonies. Mm. Okay. Hey. Well, I know which one's grosser. Okay.
Uh, okay. How about that? Like that. Uh, once again. Sweet Jesus. Oh. Okay. Uh, dude, seriously. That's gonna sting a little bit, but. This screen liquid seeps from a crack in the glass tank. It exudes a strong chemical odor that is almost painful to hey. inhale. All right. Found something. So everything in this damn place is trapped, man. Oh, Jesus. Braved it seems like you found them. That direction. Yeah. Jesus, I don't have a high enough mechanics. I'll get it open. Hey.
do is bring my troops back into here. Mm. And I'm gonna just kind of nice and slow. Do is I'm kind of gonna let this guy spot me and try to. Okay, see, no, 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 no. If I brave, Dalfilathili. See, I think I think we only got these guys. So not getting to me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, well, we got more, but we had such a huge head start on Leave these guys that that's fine. Too, so. Oh, damn it! Yeah. We gotta take better care of Ella. Don't even slow it down. Jesus, yeah. Hey, that's gonna be trouble. I can't. I can't just take those. <laughs> All right then. I mean, that's a total dick move. But well, we did clear out that room, uh, so let me actually let me bring these guys back in here, huh? with the exception of mine. Main character, let me see if I can. So last time we pulled, okay, the two front guys. So we still got a couple of irons and a machete. Um, there's more than that. If thou feel not believe, would you repeat all I say? All I say. Roak ten. We're down one. Let. If thou feel not. Yeah. You're not good. That's why you don't. I, I really need to take that dude. Suck me! That's it! Don't even slow in it! Around the guy, it's not next to yourself. There we go. See, that's how it's fun. Grave, don't feel like you're leaving. All right. Oh my god. Rest again. Because, Jesus hey. Christ. I'm gonna let people out of there, but I don't think I can yet. Uh, I think I can probably fight in this room now, but... Brave, You're not getting through me! Yeah. Alright. Leave it to me! Dude, this area of effect kind of... Brave, Small burst heal. I have much better abilities in this game. Following you. Oh, I got something to think about. Come on, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, see, that seems good, right? This guy's gonna explode. And then... Following your lead. Well, okay. Of didn't, of course, naturally. So, never mind. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You're a faint, reedy voice singing tunelessly. Okay. That is great. Hey. Yeah. Sure. What's this? Tufts of hair is still stuck to the middle slats of this helmet. You spy dark smudges along the edges of the manacles. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Swarov scroll the wires and place the machine, illuminating the innards with each burst of light. Okay. Nice and slow. Wait, what? Well, I did not expect that. <laughs> He got so much stuff on him. <sighs> oh, that's open slot. Oh, that's right. My dumbass character is the one that has like. How did all. <clears throat> Alright, dummy. <sighs> Marking, shocking, lash, and DR reduction, and DR reduction, fine, time siphon, and stealthy, 26 to 35, 29 to 40, oh, well, there you have it. <coughs> <coughs> Subject, Belsir. Yeah, out, she has outdone herself with this one, Belsir. Common robber with some natural talent for cipher abilities. He's gone to his head. The bots have believed he is next to Antonin, and I believe in any case, the world will be well rid of him. Still, he's yielded some promising results. His mind is almost perfectly intact. I might even be able to determine whether there is merit in his delusions about his soul lineage, but I made the foolish mistake of leaving the man's pistol on my work table. His essence is bound to the weapon rather than the body. I undertook the build for him. Even bodiless, this fool seeks to trouble me. I have sealed him within one of the tanks. I'll have to proof the machines against the free roaming experience while I think of solution. Until then, I suppose I must endure the company while I work. Okay. Well, there you have it. Hey. Huh? Take some fun buns here. Keeping quiet. Tip it, tip it. Okay. Hey. Let's go back around here and see about the, uh... I've got it! I don't think I got it. Hey. Seems like I'm missing 
something. I mean, I know, obviously, that that is a fake wall. I mean, it's just stupid. But I cannot, for the life of me. Okay, how about this? Everybody. If secrets whisper here, I shall listen for them. Any money? High perception. Yeah, well, I've got the highest mechanics. Uh, well, just my characters. Mechanics. Okay. Hey. So, let me do something really obnoxious. Say really obnoxious. Okay. Birdstone. Does anything ever happen over here? Is this where the magic happens? So it's just, just for, for shits and giggles that you, I guess, do that one. I mean, yeah, obviously it gives you, like, prestige and stuff for your keep, but there's no practical application of it, or maybe there is. I just don't know what it is yet. I am. It gives you bonus rest stuff, I'm sure. It's not what we're interested in this time, though. I need to grab camping supplies as well. Let's do that. I guess I can do it here. Hail, traveler. always pick uh, up a pry bar and stuff like that. I mean, it may not sound great, but it might surprise you. 
Kind of like how Energizer surprises you sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I missed a <clears throat> opportunity or what. Mechanics boost, <clears throat> so it should allow me to unlock that cell. There it is. Uh, I've got it. Yep. Finished. Save. I want to hear your life, friend. Chest of his headless machine from time to time versus Sparks companies rallying its inners. Can't be serious. So, Jest, there's a toll on these roads, friend. 500 copper, you'll have a new set of nostrils to breathe out. We're not on the road. You really are lost. Tell you what, pay up and I'll point you to the log island. That's a decent trade, isn't it? Let me give him the car. Please, just don't don't hurt us. Really? Well, that is, of course, I thought you might see it, Reason. Give it here and you may be on your way. Make sure it's only to scatter the coins for her. When it reels away again. Raise her fingers is true to her word. A whole 500 pounds! <laughs> my thoughts will be as silent as my feet. Worth a look. Two overzealous here. Let's not forget the man trapped a shelf earlier. Finished. Scatter pile of mechanical finger joints lies strewn across this desk. Range the top of the bottom, these boxes boast increasingly intricate locks. A few broken lock picks lie discarded on the shelves. I'll get it open. Yeah. Finished. No joke, we will, huh? Worth a look. Huh. Jeez, 
Jesus. Mechanics 10, huh? Okay, well. I'll just avoid it, I guess. Well, one of those. Thought pearls, okay. There's no real need for anybody else to go in there. So that's, I think, hey. that or this area, but no. Um, I'm going to move down here and then see what I can do. Obviously, Sneaky Weenus is going to go first. Nice and slow. We're on half speed now. There are one fewer now. Let's go. You're not getting. Hulking contraption hums with power. Approaching within a few feet sets a peculiar buzzing in your teeth. Hey. Huh? Mm hmm. Found something. Good 
amount of damage. And damage. <laughs> Not getting through me. Platter's gone entirely in touch, leaving the tantalizing meal to the flies. There's something there. Yep. That's pretty cool. Please continue wasting my time with the Stitcher Grotesqueries. I wanted the Blackberry, I wanted to pawn these. Sorry, so I saw you. Okay, whatever. Okay. Huh? Yep. That's how it goes, huh? Okay. Hey. If Everybody secrets whisper look. here, I shall listen for them. It's gotta be over here, right? That's the highest perception. Hey. Yeah, nobody sees it. All right. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's just not available, you know, maybe it's not possible for me to do that, but here, I'm gonna... <laughs> Not getting through me. Hey. 
course. You're not getting through me. That's it. Brave. Got it. Finished. The mannequin's head has been all but seared away with some unknown spell. The wood has warped and pitted through. Worth a look. They shall see nothing while I see much. Okay, so... These loots are they that? All right, then. Yeah. Speed it up. Found something. Found something. Yeah. 
Where's that switch? Switch. Jesus. I know it's gonna do this. Okay. Galvino. The elderly man hunches over a cluttered desk in the back of the workshop. His flesh is pulled tightly around the thin, fragile looking bones, stepped around his neck, where it hangs in loose bottles. Turns you in her scallery, chiseled in his long face. Back again? I told you. He hesitates, squ squinting at you from behind smudged and dusty spectaculars. Of course, a fresh fool to replace the last fools. What brings you stomping through my workshop, eh? Get questions about the battery in the forge. Straight to business, no nonsense. We appreciate that, don't we? He looks at the bronze golem. Anything for a breather from your endless yammering. Hey, I've got a fancy for this one already. Here's that, Taimura. Another who would tolerate your barbs and insults. <laughs> but like you come nothing. seeking the White Forge, like they all do. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> Boys with smooth cheeks Whoa. and wild dreams. Girls with bright ribbons tied next to their scabbards. It says his voice rises and falls to sing song mockery, but it's not really. Old men and women, too, seeking a final blaze of glory before they're snuffed out for another turn at the wheel. Sound familiar? No. <sighs> That's a lot of bitterness. Maybe we should ask you the same thing. Save your breath. <laughs> I have this conversation with every pig-headed swashbuckler those Postanagos and stalwarts send here. Oh, yeah, well... Go see Galvino, they say. Surely he'll help you. I never mentioned you were a dick. Hmm, must have slipped their minds what a busy and important fellow you are. In silence, the fellow's temperature in the room seems to drop. Galvino glares at her. I should have let them stone you. Would have silenced your endless rattling forever. <laughs> then you'd have naught but those frostbitten inbreds for company. I guess this is what it'd be like if Eloth and Islamer were two separate people. Come now, I sound nothing like either of them. Pathetic old... no. Uh... Master Galvino, please. I would really appreciate your help. Of course you would. <laughs> what would anyone here do without me? <laughs> he breaks off, <laughs> suddenly looking startled. Okay. Sientere. It has been a long time since anyone addressed me so. <clears throat> he clears his throat. The villagers and their adventurers hammer and pry at the battery as if they were laying siege to some moldering lord's keep. He swats the air in front of his face. Flying elves are back. But those stones were laid by some of the finest builders ever to have lived. Disciples of Abidon in the truest sense. They will not fall by the whims of any kith. And the door itself, it is infused with living essence. So that's why the doors disappeared. They got locked out of their own fortress. Shoulder, eh? I speak into seriousness. <laughs> He shakes his head, but amusement tugs at the corner of his eyes. The Pargrunen of Durgan's battery perished within their own keep, victims of a violent disagreement among their own commandants. His mouth twists into a wicked grin. Surely in the village you have heard stories, no? Disappearing caravans, tracks in the snow, screams from the high towers. He pauses, watching your extraction with a raconteur's glee. Well, go on. I like the story so far. The work of spirits still trapped in the battery, and a testament to those impenetrable walls. He wraps on the mortared stone of his own home. But the door of the keep, the one the Pargrunen filled with essence, oh, it was made to listen, to recognize its masters. Go on. Traditional Optapo cultures revolved around language. Words revealed who they were and where they were from. Oh, I gotcha. An interesting tradition. I could start introducing everyone in verse. That is why you need a Kandek. Um, what's Kandek? Some 
like in it were a poem. Others to an anthem. In reality, it is more than either. He holds uh, one hand out, turning it this way and that, in a balancing motion. Hey. Ha! So you know the key of words, and any liar can talk his way through. There's nothing built of words that won't break when the slightest stress is applied. Thus, to enter a fortress like Dorgan's battery, you would stand at the gate and recite its cantec. What an incredible tradition. Verus! A shame the Postonagos here cannot appreciate such elegance. <laughs> Askus and works for this guy. To learn the Kantek, you must speak with one of the dwarves of Durgan's battery. A shame they are all dead, no? He rubs his hands together, pacing. But no doubt their souls live on in one or two of the villagers of Stalwart. Like fine wine poured into a cheap pot. Derision curls his lips. But to identify them, that is the first problem. You would need the skills of an enemancer. I'm a watcher. The golem slows her head sharply towards you, her mask of face and the glass eyes behind it. Train no emotion, but it seems she's watching you carefully. A watcher? The Verus? If this is true, then you could find a soul descendant from Durgan's battery, no question. But the greater difficulty remains. Galvina rubs his gaunt, whiskered cheeks. You would have to learn the Kantek from the dormant soul. And to do that, you would have to awaken it. Awaken someone? How would I do that? An awakening is merely the jolting of a dormant soul into consciousness. He makes a bursting motion with his hands, splaying his fingers wide. When such things happen normally, it is because <clears throat> something has reminded the subject of a past life, often violently so. He smacks his worst workbench with surprising vigor. Aloth flinches. Thus, to awaken one of the former dwarves of Durgan's battery, you will need to address that soul, and preferably by name. He holds his hands together, steepling his fingers. But show some care. When you examine these souls, whatever it is you watchers do, you may see images, memories. He leans forward, his back hunched. These are moments of special import. What you see will tell you much about the person, and perhaps the condition in which they awaken. Awaken them from a traumatic memory, and who knows? Maybe they awaken thirsty for blood, or maybe you awaken someone else. <laughs> you understand the consequences of awakening as well as any hammer, yet perhaps there's a benefit to the process as well. Here, this has been tuned to the Eon of Durgan's battery. Use it near the villagers, and it should tell you if one has a soul old enough to have come from the battery. He arms around the, and produces an unfamiliar device. Uh, this awakening would be permanent, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. Whoever you awaken will live with the memories and the personality of a past life. Maybe peacefully, maybe not. His bony shoulders rise and shrug. That is why you must pay attention to the soul you would awaken, no? It is yeah. a... Uh, Monumental thing to impose on another, but these are the very people who wish to rediscover the White Forge, Verus. He removes his spectacles and polishes the dirty lenses with his tunic. So the Kantek is all I need. Who can say? None have yet opened Durgan's battery. Gavina raises his hands, palms up. But the ones that came before you, I think they got close. You may wish to find them and see what they discovered. I have been? not seen them since they first came to see me several weeks ago. But word has reached my ears that they crossed an ogre matron. His mouth twists into a wry line. I see. Thank you for your help. It is a pleasure to have such a courteous guest for a change. A shame you must dirty your boots in Stalwart. I'm going with him. Gollum looks between you, her neck turning on its old joint. You? Go to Stalwart? Is this your macabre sense of humor, or uh, has something gone to rust in that beautiful head I crafted? Kavino stares at her, agape. No one will bother me while I'm with him. Besides, I can help him find people in Stalwart. Gollum's his face is eerily impassive. You? You haven't been to Stalwart in thirteen years! And this watcher sees souls! What help could you be? Besides, I have need of you here. You owe whatever remains of your wicked life to me.
What's the story between you two? <laughs> this charming specimen is a convicted murderer. <clears throat> the devil of Carrick, she's called. Mighty fine of you to start with my good qualities, and you wonder why we don't get more visitors. Killed over a dozen people before they finally caught up to her in Stalwart. Perfect company for lonely camps and mountain passes, no? Jesus. He nudges you, all the while grinning wickedly, wickedly at the motionless column. Hey, I know how to start a campfire. The only reason she's not a frozen corpse is because I convinced the old mayor to let me try an experiment. Why is she called the Devil of Karak? She committed her first crime in the village of Karak. Burned their family alive in their home. That sounds kind of bad. Did the same thing in half a dozen other villages, <laughs> but the name stuck. Sure. Yeah, that's catchy. I can see that. Aren't you afraid she'll murder you? She may be mad, but she's no fool. She wouldn't survive long on her own. If the villagers didn't send a hunting party after her, the Eremans would claim her. Her joints and mechanisms require maintenance, and she cannot perform all of it herself. See, he's reminding me. In case I get any bright ideas. Put a person's soul into a metal body. He leans back, raising his hands. Into a work of art! True, it's Look nice. at this! Craftsmanship worthy of a jeweler! Fully articulated joints, capable of grasping a pen and writing her own name. Wow. And of crushing your throat. <laughs> Show me another smith anywhere in the Deerwood who is capable of such delicacy and precision. She is a masterpiece. Why did you build her? Why build a fortress, or a village, Fair or anything? To make something that keeps that... It was the early days of the legacy. My peers in the colleges of Anamancy were filling the Hollowborn with the souls of animals. You're right. By comparison, this sounds perfectly sane. I thought there was a better way. He is silent for several seconds, his gaze growing distant. One with a Plum Academy job back in Salona? Don't forget that part. I take it your experiment didn't go over well with the rest of the village. Ah, uh, here we go. They were going to stone her anyway. Why not allow her to be put to some useful purpose? My life's ambition. To serve somebody's useful purpose. I approached Mayor Sinahiod and begged. He saw the potential and allowed me the privilege of attempting my little ex- Then, I accomplished what few Hanamancers have even dreamed of. No academic support, no patron. Just me in the middle of nowhere. Nice. Oh, now you got them all wound up. I transferred a fully intact soul from a living subject to a fabricated body. She retained her personalities, her memories, all of it. Yet the villagers saw only a stolen corpse. She's a fine specimen, her personality notwithstanding. Que? No, 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 you don't know. This woman, the devil of Karek, she was a notor- Besides, she works for me. After all, I am the one who- Listen, Aimiko. If you're set on traveling with her, I won't stop you. <laughs> Fine price for a blacksmith striker. Suppose I should be flattered. And there you have it. A bargain. Oh, she's a rogue. Okay. A moment. You are going back to Stalwart, yes? Perhaps you could do me a favor. What about? There is a man in the village named Grind, the head fisherman. 
Okay. The rest of Stalwart kisses his feet because he fills their stinking blades with speckleback. But I know he's not as virtuous as he seems. He has a vicious glee crinkle in the face. What? Humiliate him, of course. Show his neighbors what he truly is. And let him... He's always been a ripple sponge addict. Just got good at hiding it once his sainted sister died and left. But he keeps a stash in the fishery. Sneaks in at night when the others have gone home. I want you to expose him. Go to the fishery after dark when it's empty. That self-righteous meddler engineered my eviction from the village. He turned... Now I want him to feel the scorn of those... Uh, do not answer me now. But when you return to that festering eyesore, your misgivings collect like grime on a doorstep. But think, if this Green Day is a fraud, does he not deserve to be exposed? Now sure. But be sure to approach the fishery by night, when it's empty. Uh, they will give you no end of trouble if they see you stealing during the day. Other projects, they are none of your concern. For years I've been trying to create another like the Devil of Carrick. Yet those post Enacos in Star Wars destroyed my machinery. Now, I can only create these broken, mindless things. The devil remains my most perfect mm. creation. I'm just gonna leave that all in. Hey. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Brave Dolphy. Don't even. Sound. We'll keep to ourselves. All right. Double time and out of this damn place. Hmm. 
Uh, yep, yep. Struggling on through. Um, three S mechanics might. Oh boy, it's Fook Town. Half asleep, the tide of deafening whispers sails here, chipping away at your senses. It reminds you to name itself. Their roar is louder with each passing night. Their attacks more brazen, less confined to their to your subconscious. Before your more <laughs> your voice fights its way through the den, calling out to you. Hey, hey! Peter hey. rolls his eyes, relieved you to gotta see gotta stop it with that. I just about punched you to snap you out of it. You were saying things, but there weren't any words I ever heard. You were shaking so hard I thought you'd crack your spine. Whatever happened to a bucket of cold water? What would I do without a friend to punch? It was nice to feel needed. I'd have woke you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. My folks don't last long without sleep. Oh shit, I didn't mean to Hey. That's my bad. All right, then. Hmm. Go ahead and drop into the keep and then resolve that battle. It's coming through. Getting Got your back. Yeah, leave it. You're not. Jesus H. That sucked. Uh, where are we? 23 or 6 million, obviously, auto save. 
<coughs> I didn't take that vampire seriously. Okay. The world is a vampire.
zwar. Can I do the same thing with Actually, I think we're okay. So, uh, let's just... So that fight, uh, that fight is over with, and I'm cool with that. So I do have to redefend the keep now, since I'm sure. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I lost some dudes here. Hey. Come back and rest, obviously. It's pretty crazy.
Still enough on. I had a million potions I have to stuff into a sack. Much like my sorries. And then, uh. Cooking. Let's see. Anything negative? Anything negative? Anything neg? 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 Oh, I do. Oh. So I've been through these ones. Okay. Shit. Who cares? All right. It's nice to have extra, I guess, right? A turd out of the punch bowl. Put that in there. Fireball scroll, sure. Whatever. Okay. And of course, I made some like chicken biscuits and stuff too for the road. So uh, there's always that. Come on now, boys. Now, hell, let's get in here. Now, you must. Get yep. Now I'll go back and look for the soul boner. Maybe I should go visit that dickhead in the keep dungeon. Nah. The water is flowing so the river. Shit is this eight days? Okay, let's go. Cool. Uh, plenty of time. Yes, friend. It's a good body. Hey, body. Hi, buddy. What's up with you? You like a spooky town? It's a, that's Me a and Sledge are thinking about having more. Fresh fish! Freshly caught! Johnny, what for? You like your ogres <coughs> bigger? Fresh fish! You'd have work at least. Caught. I'm damn sick of wow. fish. What's this shit, bird? Effigy's eyes! It looks at me! What? What's this guy talking about? Doesn't appear to love your life, stare up piteously from the discarded heads of the day's cat. Just a wash and pungent sea of fins and innards. 
Well, let's sift through it. Why not? Something round, fleshy, soft, and melon, smooth, and scaleless, and parts. Here, a discarded head, perhaps, but not that of a fish. Oh, the head. The head shifts deeper in the barrel. Oh, cloth head. Uh, only another leap. Wow. Zahua. The man who lit from the barrel stands facing you, nearly naked, save for a loin cloth, and drizzled in fish viscera. It's covered head to toe in scars, tears, and punctures, and thorny imprints of lashing, most are faded like old memories. So like that, the condition of the man's body is remarkable. Drooping skin at his flanks and elbows is the only evidence of his dead stage. His face is plastic, the rest of him appears prepared for anything. You must forgive, Zawa. I was not expecting you. It seemed that way, wouldn't it? He looks you in the eye first, but his gaze shifts now and then, settling on strange parts of your face as though distracted by new discoveries. He is, uh, if he is at all flustered, he gives no indication. What are you doing in that barrel? So I scratches his ear. Resting my eyes, right. I thought. Waiting for the Malkut Shoah to bring me insight. Shakes his head. It would seem I dozed. A good thing my master was not alive to see it. So I blinks, leaning in to get a better look at you. His large pupils seem to crowd out his pale irises. Are you... Uh, are you real? Now that you ask, uh, I'm not so sure. Hmm. We shall let the matter rest for now, then. Until the Malkachoa wears off. Malkachoa? A small white mushroom. I have heard it called Snowcap in these lands. Oh, Lord. It can reveal the true nature of many things. Still, you have a master, you said? Man traces you and her vinegar glances a scar, smells politely. A teacher, not an owner. Zawa is a free man. Well, as free as any of us. Why are we in that barrel? Still don't get it, yo-yo. I was freeing myself from vanity. Not apparently. Say sanity or vanity? Hey Consider, how can one be vain who is bathed in the smell of dead fish? There's a proud glint in his eyes. Hard to argue with that. I had the idea when I passed this way earlier. I am pleased with the results so far. Spots a little woman whose head is swelled towards him as she passes by, a look of revulsion on her face. Distracted, her toe catches on a stone, she literally falls on her face. He clasps his hands together. <laughs> yes, quite pleased. Do you often smear yourself a fish? <laughs> Gods, no. What a way to travel the world. The usual way is to smear yourself with the ashes of the dead. But they do not burn their dead here, so I have to make do with what the land provides. He sniffs. Hmm. The cold seems to conquer the smell. Even now, the scent hides itself. Disappointing. No scars from battle? Looks down its body. From battle, yes. I left them upon my enemies. These were struck against fear. These against pleasure. These against hatred. Those down there against greed and doubt. And these... He points to his puts. These were for vanity. You did that? I cannot take credit for all of them, but I did most of the good ones. I put them there in battle to remind myself what is real and what is not. Our worst enemies are inventions of the mind, pleasure, fear. When we see them for what they are, we become unstoppable. You have I feel I have been close, but never for more than an instant. In the moment when the pain is sharpest, the world becomes clear. In that moment, I am a match for anyone. Your wounds must have caused you to suffer greatly. Of course. I am fortunate to have suffered so much. If I did not suffer, I would not aspire to free myself from it. I would wander from one unfulfilling goal to the next. More wealth, a better station. My soul would wither. But to search for a place beyond suffering's reach is to nurture the soul, to harden it against the elements. Suffering is the greatest gift the gods have given us, their most beautiful, perfect creation. It is the hand that turns the wheel. His eye gleams as though looking upon an old and beloved friend. You don't seem like you're from around here. I was visiting a monastery not far from here. I found it empty. But I met a messenger as I left. Jerkwater Jim. He carried a call for aid. 
Seeing that he would find no monks at the monastery, I chose to go in their place. Zawa is no longer young, but in combat he is still the greatest of the Takan people. It seemed only right that he should go. Stalwart hired me as well. I would not say I am hired. I seek no wage, and I promise no result. So you're just an asshole. I have chosen a path, and my spoils come from walking it. An uneasy frown settles on his face, almost a wince. And this fortress, this Durgan's battery, its people are gone. Zawa would know why. Uh, I could use the help of an experienced warrior. Oh, oops. Shit. I mean, I'm not gonna use them, but... If one wishes we are here together in this moment, uh, it is a perfect force. Okay, I will yeah. walk with you so long as the gods wish it so. Let's be on our way, yo. Hey. Okay. So, I'm gonna go up to Scooter Jim's house. I'm gonna go, hey, Scooter Geo. And I'm gonna go look at her kid, and it's probably gonna be the one, right? I mean, it just seems right, because he's such a uh, shitbird or whatever. He, uh, it just seems like he's going to be the Something one. else you need? Read a soul. You read older since to find yourself staring at a fence post line of filthy slush of frozen mud. Snow that gathers around your legs and trickles into your boots. The wind nips at you, even the layers of fur. You hold a wood chisel in one numb hand and mount the other, kneeling over the fence post. You get to work. Hour after hour, you hammer away, feeling the tools grow heavy in your grips as the breath fogs your vision. You want to do better work than this. You can do better work than this, but no one's building new houses in Stalwart. The last table you crafted was put into the fishery, and pike in trails and now trace the fine dovetail joints you so lovingly carved. Now you mend the stockade because that's what's needed. The chisel slips, skidding alongside your hand. You gasp, but you hold up your hand and see. Must your relief all five fingers wiggle back at, wiggle back at you. Need to get out of this town. You pull back from Elder Soul, who's still staring at the fire, seeming lost in his own memories, too. Farewell. I don't want to talk to that kid, really. Any luck with Durgan's battery? Examine her soul. <clears throat> you are in to settle beneath Reginald's skin. Ren and Guild, whatever, Reginald. You feel yourself looking through her eyes upon a time-faded memory. You're standing in the end. The room is stifling, but it's the body heat of so many furious villagers, not the neglected fire pit, the strong sweat from your pores. Your husband awaits by the door. About as far as he can get away from the assembly, he holds Uldric, whose cheeks are bright as he watches the adults bicker with wide, fearful eyes. You never realized how badly your neighbors stink, but something rank and repulsive rises from them as they pack together in this room. How much did the old snake pay you, Sina Hio? It's Grind, the head fisherman, jabbing a fur furious finger at the back of the room. Sinio, your erstwhile mayor, squirms in a corner, pinned by the accusing stares of the entire village. Oh, those eyes. They're cruel, poor seen eyes. And they're watching Sinihad with a dumb gluttony of hogs staring at fodder. Like dolls. eyes. The only sight that turns your stomach more is Sinihad himself, trying to wiggle free of his own lies. <laughs> Maestro Galvino and I came to an agreement. It was for the good of Stalwart. I thought... You thought mm. you'd let a killer walk mm. among us? That's what he's getting right now. Uh... Let's go. What smack draws your attention that there is some stone of potato? Aww. I want to see him get murdered. Okay, come on, come on, he's saying. Well, I just fixed turning mob ever since started here, man. Come on, man. Uh, to leave stalwart people around you, so you push. Enough. Enough. No one contradicts you when they explain you're going to march out of the village alone into whatever. Okay. Yep. So this is how you. Became, What's on your mind? Came the head ding dong of uh, Snowborg. Okay, let's go find a soul that is worth uh, torturing. Gonna awaken them. Hey, motherfucker. That's all I needed. Get out of here. I don't want to talk to that guy that much. Figured you'd be out of here in a flash after the fighting died down. I would have helped fight them. 
snowy path peels away and brisk air gives away acres of inch of smoke. A dark cloud bells up from the remnants of a burning house at the far edge of a rocky field. You are low to the ground, held in place, and above you the wind tugs embers back and forth like firebugs. Vision Not so eyes. brave it's now, are, are you? Dark shape swings towards your face and the subsequent bursts of agony jars you out of the memory and back into your own skin. What? Did I spill something on myself? What's this about Havrick? Oh, Havrick's the innkeeper over at the grave's rest. I may have been hiding in the inn when the fighting- Did you know he has a whole case of Fenland liquor in there? I keep offering to buy it off him, but he says he's saving it up for when the batteries open again. Oh, your mom. As if we're gonna last that long. <laughs> Anyhow, he said he'd thrash me up and down the mountain if I didn't leave him be. That's, uh, <laughs> that's what Havrick said, actually. Look, I'm not proud of it, but I'm no warrior. What am I gonna do? Throw a net on them? They say a single drop changes your life. You'll know it's delusional is what it is. Point of fact, what Averick keeps all the good stock in the inn cellar. Out of sight, you see. I mean it's bound to be under lock and key, but not interested. I'm sh sure, alright. But if you happen to come across ask Sure, up. ask away. Me? Well, I used to build houses. These days I do this and that. I'm from Ina's rest originally. Okay. I heard some business, right? Uh, yeah, I'm done with you, okay? Huh? That's, that was enough. Come on, buddy. Let's get in here. Bird doggin'. Who we got? What manner of asshole? They gone? Have the I heard the ogres outside. Tearing down walls and murdering folk. Don't remember how things got this bad. But you're the new adventurer. <laughs> A real spitfire, she told me. Bet you'd whip the... Jeez. You feel her essence humming and buzzing. Another personality instead of memories is dies dormant within her soul, convulsing as if in a fitful sleep. The contour of that dormant soul is sharp, ragged. As you reach out for it, it seizes you violently. You're standing in a darkened feast hall. Sturdy tables and benches have been stacked against the door in the far end of the room. You know it won't be enough. A few dozen other doors from your tunneling crew wait with you, shovels and pickaxes in their shaking hands. Sinove, please. If we go now, we can get behind the barricade. We, we won't do any good here. He's right, and you hear agreement in the quiet murmur of the others. But Arms Warden Marun orders you to hold your ground here. Yet in those rising whispers, you hear the opening bars of mutiny. You never tolerated insubordination for your crew and, your crew, and you aren't about to start. So you have your pickaxe and swing it into the man's skull. He collapses, and the others fall silent. The acrid odor of urine rises from his body. We're going to go down fighting. Anyone who feels differently can settle it with me right now. Your voice is a horse from hours of shouting orders, but no one else moves. They cast their eyes down in the flickering torchlight. Something thuds against the door. The others raise their weapons, picks, shovels, and a few sword. They don't dare flinch. Your own pulse pounds at your temples. You pull back from Tana's soul, but you feel Zeno's wrath and ferocity tugging at you still. Her essence thrashes, lashing out at an unseen enemy. Zeno is powerful, but dangerous, too. Her fury has anchored her to, to old and threatening memories. You consider that maybe others you could awaken. Okay. Did you say something, dear? Tell me about me? yourself. I was the overseer at the mine, back when it was running. Got shut down decades ago when we couldn't sell or ship the stuff. <laughs> but I still remember plenty about the mining business. And I got as many folk as I can digging out the entrance. She taps her head, a spotted dome under a thinning patch of hair. Been praying to the salty wench that I don't forget too much before right. they finish the job. Word. Got to speak up? Bye now. Okay, so... She's a possibility. I don't want to hurt that old lady, though. But if I get bored, eh, why not? I'll awaken her. Who else have we got around? Yeah, yeah. There's the fishery. There's many. There's Benihana. There's a. Uh, uh, got the frickin' arrest. I'm sure there's some shit bird in here that has something going on. Grab a 
drink. So, if I'm <laughs> oddly dormant, that's because I'm not moving. Because I'm in the other room, getting a drink. Of course, while I'm explaining this, I have been getting up. So, it's not really going to be that long of a time. If I can just get one of these damn things off of the... Uh, there we go. Hey, Mochi. Um. <clears throat> okay. So. The bar. Okay. Dumbass. Dumbass. Ooh. Dumbass. Still can't feel my fingers. Thought I'd found shelter when I stumbled across this little village. Guessing you did too, huh? Fair raises a frosty mug to you, even though the warmth of the hearth reaches you here. Her hands are wrapped in wear wool and her ears, ear, ears muffled by a hat. Her face has the taut, wind beaten look of someone who's recently come from the road. As much blood as there was in the streets, I'm lucky the ale's still flowing. I don't know why I'm going to do it. In front of the affair is swaddled hand work. Uh, bundle and tie parcel with, with you are a man and, and another woman, both similarly occupied. See in a small hut, nearly bare, but for the rickety table before you and the three cheap cots piled with furs. The man hefts his parcel like something rare and precious. That's the last of them. Check the rest of the supplies while I load these. He just peers through a door and into the howling gale. The door swings shut with a loud clap. You sure about the route? The other woman, Francesca, looks up at you. Her face is mostly covered by a fur hat and several layers of thick-knit kerchiefs. But her voice is clear enough. Not much choice. Snows have covered most of the other passes. This one gets just enough traffic to stay open. <clears throat> you feel the answer ring out of your own throat. The thought doesn't bring either of you much comfort. You don't mention the real issue, which is that Lanum's made up his mind. Jessica stares at you for several seconds, apparently thinking the same thing. You can't see her expression clearly enough. Tell, the, tell whether she's resigned or preparing an argument. She shoves out the door without another word. Ba -doop, boop. Uh, uh, she doesn't seem to... Uh, Watch yourself if you're heading out to the battery. There's what, more than ogres to worry about. What exactly happened to you? Thought all the whispers about Durgan's battery were just village superstition. And maybe they are. But I might have been on my guard if I'd listened. Hot meat. I was part of an expedition, hunting for relics from Durgan's battery. We picked up a good haul, too. She takes all of her beer? So it figures that's when the winds pick up and the sky starts dumping snow. We lost sight of the road. Meanwhile, something else found us. Badoosh. Took Lena out before we even realized we were surrounded. And then we see him coming out of the snow. These little four-armed wilder. Lagufoth, they're called. She shakes her head, staring at the embers in the fire pit. Quick little bastards. Francesca and I held them off as long as we could, but when they filled her full of darts, I turned tail and ran. Found my way here and thanked my luck for escaping the Lagufoth. Then come to find out that this town's got an ogre problem. Can't mean to leave those relics behind. Don't I know it. I need to get those artifacts. Not that I'm in any shape to go after them myself. But I can't afford to return to Defiance Bay without something to show for my expedition. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, let me tell you about Defiance Bay. But you've got your own expedition to the Battery, don't you? While you're out there, maybe you could look for my goods. Whatever's left of them. I'll give you a cut for anything you bring back, of course. I ain't asking for charity. I just can't afford to go home empty-handed. Nah, found. You've saved my hide. I can't thank you enough. But I hope you'll take this. Fair enough. Here, as promised. Thanks again. With a little luck, I'll trade these blizzards in for a sea breeze. Wow, six enough. grand, that's pretty good. I can't even level, but that's nice. Yeah, that's close though, right? Yeah, that's real nice. All right, leveling soon then. Okay, what do we got here? Villager, villager. There's, there's brightening. Uh, read soul. You or Andrew are both kneel on a stone floor held between two men. The man facing in front of you wears the arm of a crucible knight. You feel Andrew's half heart of contempt for him as if it were your own. Oh, I can't just if you spit blood on his boots. Okay. Uh, 
ship shutters violently, fear and f okay. What are you playing, Orleans Head? That's her, what they call it anyhow. So, yeah. if you could target C, nose is worth more, ears or whatever, you get less points further out. Yeah, so it's a darts with somebody's face. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, well, that sucks. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Well, okay, well, that was... Got cook. How about Katie? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you came by. I hoped I'd have the chance to thank you properly. They told me what happened. God's bless you, sir. I owe you my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. I know it was foolish of me to run in there. But this ring is all that I have of my family. So special. Sentiment, mostly. When he first settled here, my grandfather had a ring fashioned from the first batch of ore he excavated. It was supposed to commemorate his fresh start. He passed it on to his daughter, and my mother gave it to me in turn. How are y'all not? Oh, I'm managing. Fenway's letting me stay with her until I'm back on my feet. Everyone's been lovely, really. It was hard seeing what's left of the house. But Rayvald says he's going to see a hut raised for me as soon as they get the logs. Just looking around here for anybody that could possibly... Back to warm your hands, eh? What could... You all right? I won't serve you if you're already drunk, you know. Nothing like a pint to take the chill off. Alrighty. Okay, so I still got that. I will always take those. Uh, let me get rid of these, these, this, 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 uh, that, that. I got so much stuff. Oh, this is crap. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Cool. Now, mm. let, me, let me read this guy. Back to warm again. your hand, Jay. See a room dark and damp, a cellar. It looks part, part of an inn rather than an old fortress. Through Harry Frick's eyes, you admire Rosa Green Bottles recently dusted by She stepped back in the shell, she looked on the shell, she had a pressure plate and sealed in the You alright? Farewell. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, uh, I mean, I'll uh, take a look around, I guess. Not to be rude, but I'm rather busy. Can't you? Hey, once he thinks you're up to something, he... dude. What? Oh no, no. Can't imagine why I think a thing like that. Is she there? Did you see her? Who are you Devola. talking about? Devola. That woman, the slaver. She. I was a slave in Raid Saris. I ran away. Made it here. The mountains are usually the best place to lose slavers, but Duval is one of the best. I just want to get out of here. I've scraped together enough money to reach New Hailmar. Uh, I mean, slowly you love it. But the locals talk about a raid Saren party camped west of town. It's got to be Divala. She's been after me since the foothills. I'll pay you if you can get rid of her. I don't care how. Thank you, but be. Hmm. 
Okay, yeah, so... Uh... Who have we got? Let me read a few more souls. Excuse here. me, was there something you... You feel our windows press, it's almost like find yourself rough in the darkness. It's a very old memory, uh, torch layers, a gloomy tunnel that is... Oh, alright. Handful of figures in patchy cloaks and hood. Dwarves like you hunch over a minecart. They're loading it with cloth wrap bundles from which you see the occasional flash of metal, the edge of a blade, or the burnished glow of plate. The other dwarves scurry with a curious mixture of haste and caution. They stack the bundles on a den of muted clangs and thumps, falling the echoes of their ruckus down the tunnels with nervous eyes. Pay attention! Sooner we get this done, sooner we can go. Your voice is a dry whisper, and your nerves tingle with energy. You feel the same apprehension as the others do, but unlike them, you relish it. Still, you look over your shoulder, just in case. We're hurrying, Captain Gregor. Honest. One of the men addresses you. When you turn back, the others have redoubled their efforts, and you feel a pleasurable twist in your gut as they fill the cart. Being captain of the guard doesn't pay much, but it does allow you to visit the army without raising eyebrows, and with... Coinmaster Zoltan selling off half the battery's arsenal. Who's going to notice a few more missing pieces? Besides, you got a VAR lined up. As long as you can move these goods out of the battery before someone squeals. You pull back from the, bat the memory and find Owena staring at you. Sir? Excuse me, sir. You alright? Farewell. Corrupts and deceitful. Make things interesting for the shy maid. Okay, let me check this room. Nice and slow. game going on here. Huh? Worth a look. Ten pawns says he trips them. You're awful. Finished. over there, but I wouldn't, friend. It's a mess of traps, and I should know. Alright. Steady does it. Place for a game. What are you playing? Dozens. Yeah, sure. Oh, I don't even care what the rules are. So continue. Pay the fifty. Two, four, five.
Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, whatever. Hey. I, don't, I don't even care anymore. So. <clears throat> Of course. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Nothing. Uh, who we got around here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check on the old, uh, no. Actually, I'm good. I'm good without checking on anything. Oh yeah, all right. Ha, huh, that's what I get for asking directions in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, he's gonna find it. Not giving up. Burp, 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 burp. Slap, dap. Yes? Mm, nothing, I guess. Say, I don't suppose you've seen any mysterious old buildings in the mountains lately, have you? No, but I've heard that name a lot around here. I'm looking for the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. It's an obscure temple dedicated to Andra. I'm a gift bearer. My job is to gather tokens of things people want forgotten and surrender them to the Lady of Lament. She sounds nice. Best place to do that is the Abbey of the Fallen Moon. Anything that represents a moment or a memory someone wishes to leave behind. Well, love notes, awkward family heirlooms, bad poetry, the kinds of things you want to forget. I might be here a while. Half the villagers have never heard of the Abbey, and the ones that have, no one knows where it is. So I'm trying to think of this as an extended holiday in a remote mining village that smells like fish. Okay. You won't regret it. I've got a- I like her already. I will wait in the place of your strength. Hey. Try her out for a while, I guess. And she needs Lead to the go way. Front. Okay. Uh, so let me level my dude up. This is gonna be awesome. So, this mechanics up. Apparently, I'm just. Oh Jesus! That's uh, gonna be nine. Mm. <sighs> the hell's the long pain? Oh. Mm. Yeah, sure, why not? Shit. It's a long pain. Level nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Jesus, this guy in lore. Um. Yeah, whatever. It's like a nice little lore. Paper. 
pretty rubbish. Hey. Alright. Uh, what uh -huh. does she got? Wow. Her? I forgot what it's like to travel with people. <sighs> what kind of shit does she use? One hand. Oh, she's, oh okay. Well. I probably have some stuff. and that is 19 to 28, but this has uh, corrosive lash and draining on it. Uh, it's slow, this is slow, okay. I'll still slide that over there. This is slightly less damage, but overall, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna get these damn traps out of here. I'll disarm down in Moron's basement. Going to the fishery or whatever this is, I don't even know. Might not be the fishery actually. Ooh, the fat cattery. Ugh. Oh, it's the temple. All right then. Wait, isn't this the temple that idiot was looking for? Uh, Andre welcomes you into her embrace. Treat yourself with compassion. Here to ease the pain of your past, ready to take your burdens. If you look to God, it's healthy hardships, of course. I heard the worshippers of Bareth visited you recently. Well, I was around here that doesn't end the mouth of villagers, but we're to assist everyone, regardless of their faith. A group of women came to the coast. Whoa! The, woman, the leader wanted to know of Durgan's battery. I obliged, pointing them in its direction. Andra, Andra's got us redemption, deep like an ocean, gentle as a mother. She's here to relieve her children of their darkest burden. Came here to aid the villagers to heal the wounds of the past that felt fester in their souls. Thought the Andra's got us lost morning, not redemption. That's a priestess cost her arm shifts her weight. Common notion. Others may believe so, but the goddess's mysteries are profound. Her true power lies in her redeeming years lost and regret. Is there something else you want to talk about? I want to know about the gift bearers. Here's the, do Andre's most valued work. They carry the material burdens of unfortunate souls. Yep. <clears throat> Is there anybody in here I can look at their soul? Not oh, this dude. I've got nothing for you. Okay. Hey. Oh, I'll make you have something for me. Sweet love. You will have sweet love for me. Like living in paradise, people. All that time fighting upon the sea. Oh, you must have some great stories. The rot gut and cannon blasts knocked most of them out of my head. Those were good days. You ought to meet my sister. <laughs> Where in Rawatai are you from, anyway? Little coastal town. Definitely no cannons or rot gut there. Shame. Rock gut cannons, what I'm looking for. Buddies! <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. That smell's never washing off. You are correct. Net appears to have been set aside for mending. <laughs> Got some oil up in that piece. There's other stuff around here, too. There is this asshole that has a lot of speckled pick, iron tooth pike, and frostbite fish chase up at you. <sighs> yeah, what you got? Arda's. Alright, whatever, I don't want this crap. Uh, fish. White, flame, and sound. We keep to ourselves. 
Let's find the hidden stuff. Where is it? No, no hidden stuff, huh? Well, not that I've seen at least. Okay. Cats, stop fighting. We'll keep on. I don't really care. Do what you do. Let's go check this place out. Okay, spoop. Get out of there. <laughs> oh my god, it's a portal to Petticoat Junction. Alright, let's do this. This dwarf is busy. Oh, he's a dwarf for I'm Christ's sorry. sakes. sorry. Didn't hear you come in. My ears aren't what they used to be. Who are you? I'm Thiersh. I've lived here long enough that Kith have started calling me the Old Hunter. And that's about all I can say for myself. I'll read him up. Souls privates. Still the thing, as you reach out for it with your senses, you see breath begin to fog in the air. You find yourself far above the ground, wedged into the juncture of two branches. Moonlight is bright upon the snow, and distant sheer quarry steps out into the ice as if, you know, it's nothing. Smoking tears. How'd Wasn't you the you? ogres, I can tell you that. Put a few arrows in one of those, and they generally have the good sense to back off. Yeah. But... I've been hunting this wolf for near a year now. A man-eater. Cunning, nasty thing. Every time I get close, it just slips away. Give him the beat, boys. The beast has already claimed many lives. The first victim was my son, Saldron. Got the better of me this last time. Distracted me long enough for one of its kin to turn up. <laughs> Nearly bit me clean in half. I'm a few weeks out from trying again. I'll keep an eye out for it. It needs doing. But I warn you, this beast is not to be trifled with. You must watch yourself on the mountain. Coming to your elders for advice, is it? What can I do for you? Eldor said I should speak to you before I head to the Long Watch Falls. A good thing you did. <clears throat> Hot Springs North Road are crawling with lagger faith. I'm supposed to uh, surprise Eldor found himself out there. The thing to know about lagger faith is they're fast. Tolerant to cold, too, so try another angle of attack. Something seems to occur to him. Pats his pockets, clenching his pipe between his teeth. These will come in handy. Use them if you get into trouble. Hand you a few sealed bottles. The old hunter looks up and down, puffing his pipe. Uh, mirror damage. Okay. Being honest, though, I'd say those beasts are still going to challenge. be a challenge for you. I know you held your own against those ogres. Might be wise to wait a spell before taking on the Lake of Faith. Uh, uh, that's, that's all. For now, yeah. Hey. Of course. Uh, let me talk to this bird. Uh, show me what you got. Tell me what you want. What you really, really want. Bri bar, gravel. It's a sick of sick. That's what I want. Shit. Okay. Oh, the damn hot springs. See if there's any idiots standing around here. 
Well, I mean, I'm running out of fools. So I guess it's maybe not serving, girl. Sorry, lady. Something I can do for you? Who? I I don't. Slits so saying she's falling asleep. Her eyelids flutter, and after several seconds, they open to slits. Face frozen in horror. Thief! <clears throat> I'm the captain of the guard. Best be careful where you sling an accusation like that. I just want the cantic of Durgan's battery. Then you're not one of Zoltan's buyers, eh? Sounds to these ears like you want a deal. I can make deals. I awakened you. Seems you owe me now. I see. <laughs> you have me at a loss. And yet, this is not a loss entirely. Need to reach Durgan's battery. Hammers of Durgan, ring loud. May the anvil's deep music resound. Walls of the battery safeguard our works from marauder and wilder alike. Abidun's faithful travail by the forge and the fires that brighten the ore. If anyone asks, you didn't hear it from me. Got that? Now. Stubbles over, sneezing, she looks back up at you, wiping her watering eyes. Beg your pardon for going on so. I got carried away, and... What was that I said? About hammers and fires and... Uh, you were awakened. You shared the soul of a guard captain from Durgan's battery. <laughs> you must be joking. How could that happen? <clears throat> His soul reincarnated whole within you, sometimes awakening results. I can't be awakened. That means... Oh, God. Andres Tides, I'm stuck with him. <clears throat> it's a little sly. Look, warms her eyes. The thought creeps down her shoulders and her torch and her speech again. Her voice smooth as well. It's not all bad, Owena. Way I see it, you and <clears throat> me can make some deals. To our mutual benefit. Deals? What do you want from me? <laughs> For you, not from you. I'm thinking it's time we got a raise. I don't know about that. Hafric's a bit of a miser, he is. Oh, God. Don't you worry about Hafric. I've got something else in mind. Uh, contemplation. Oh, God. Hey. Okay, so... And level up some more guys here. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Why would I want? Alright, the fun times. Not enough lore. Well, we'll hang on to the points. Oh, oh yes. <sighs> oh, okay. What's this one? Wondrous Torment. Jesus. It's <laughs> kind of whatever. Um. What's this? Target is hit with a stuck anchor for a frigid ray of energy. Oh, that's kind of awesome, so we'll do that. Let's call the slumber. Cementary. Malignant hmm. Cloud. Oh. Yeah, we'll try that one too. Okay, cool. Oh, free spells. Oh, okay. Huh. Obviously. Magic missile. 
Hey. Okay. Mm, no one else, right? So. It would have been mother grievances. Otherwise. Okay, so. Hot. Okay, cool. Ugh. All right, then. Oh, gosh. It's a big meow. Okay, let me see what's up with the haul haul haul. Let's, um... Wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. Clean fish, fish left trip. Wow. Remember, you shred into the fishery. The forest is swept clean, but the wood is still splotched with snow on the fish gut. Now he's nodding forward as if he's asleep. He looks up at Scran's face. He's full of sadness. His hair hangs in stringy locks. You feel anger and pity at your brother's debauchery. Oh, Jesus. Hard. His voice is a little more than a croak. It's past midnight. Your throat feels tight. He wipes his nose and examines the mingled blood and powder in the back of his hand. He shrugs. Fingers clench around coarse, thick fabric. Your father's just wool cloak tucked under your arm. Go! To raid Ceres, or Defiance Bay, or fucking Air Glonfoth. I don't care! You hurl it at the end grate huddled on the floor. Picks up the cloak and looks at it with the same sort of dull wonder. He wipes his nose on the lining. A sudden rush of fury leaves your limbs weak and raw. Oh. I'll tell them. Mayor Cena healed. The neighbors. Everyone. Force the words through your teeth. But what? He mumbles, churning his words from a morass of snot and saliva. The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers? Or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? You whisper, afraid even now that someone will overhear you and the words scorch your throat. You can't be found when there's work to do, but every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. No, it's not. Grin blinks back at you. He rubs his red and eyes. Your own grow warm and blurry. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You touch your bracelet like Griffin Mother, plucking at the beads. You won't. He rises steadier in his feet than you would have thought. I will. You stride toward him. I wouldn't have shamed mother and father while they was living, but I won't let this keep up. Your anger swallows lost your pity, anger at him for putting you in this position. Downing your resolve for failing to see. You're close enough to smell his still sour breath when he pushes you. The fall, watching his widening eyes and the ceiling spinning into your vision. Isn't this just like him? Grim with his full tantrums and everything of anybody but himself. Now you're going to be nursing a headache for a week. Just goes to show you can't help some people, but you remember him too. Your baby brother running through the snow, slipping, falling on ice. And you're slipping, falling. There's a table behind you, but it shouldn't. The memory ends abruptly, jolting you back into the present, with your heart hammering and your palms sweating. The fishery door creaks open, in walks Grin, staring at you, and the bracelet, in surprise and outrage, his face drains of color. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief? You'd better explain yourself! You're the one with explaining to do. What's that supposed to mean? You killed your sister, Adra, right here in this room. 
He opens his mouth to reply, the words catch in his throat. The guard next to him stares at the bracelet, recognition turning to horror. It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. Say nothing, listen. I gave her body to the lake. But I kept her bracelet. To remember the cost of my own weakness. He loosens his hands and stares at the emptiness in his leathery palms. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village. And they need it, truly. You've seen the shape this place is in. Have mercy on Stalward, if not on me. Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalward, and the only fitting way to honor my sister. Shame. Was counting on you to do some good around here. Let me go ahead and save here and take a little bit of a break. I need to charge my stuff up. And uh, I will be back in a little while. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you've enjoyed the stream, please subscribe. Or please subscribe to the YouTube channel if this is where you're watching it. And uh, take care. Thank you again.